Hello Lego fans, adult fan of Lego UK here. Welcome to my review of the Lego Creator Winter Village Cottage, set 10229. Um, this will be a full review of this set. Um, I've already done an unboxing, so I will link down to in the description um, that video. Um, there you will get a view of the box itself, the contents of the box, and a quick review of the instructions. So, first thing I'm going to go through with you is a review of the minifigures, then I'll go through the actual set itself and some of the functions and features within the set. So, on to the minifigures. Okay, so the first minifigure is the mom or mother. We can see there. Uh, red printed torso. Rear torso printing too. See nothing on the legs, she has black legs. You can see slightly different um, colour arms, different shade of red. You can see obviously her face there and her dark black hair. Okay, I believe. Yep, just single side printing. So that's our mum. Okay, next up we have the dad. We can see there he comes with a couple of accessories. So he has his chainsaw and an axe. So I'm just going to take those out so you can get a better look at the minifigure itself. Okay, so there we can see again the torso printing. No rear, no rear printing at all. You see the face, and he's got this little red cap on. See there his face with his uh, beard. Again, this one has no rear face face printing, so that is the dad. Okay, next up we have Grandma. You see there the accessory she comes with is this little red mug. I assume that's got some hot chocolate or something like that inside. Just remove that. Okay, so we see the torso printing on the grandma. No rear torso printing. Um, blue legs. You see her face print in there, the red lipstick. And obviously her hair. So I'll take that off. And again, just a single side face printing. So there we go, that's grandma. Okay, next up is grandpa. You see he has in his hand a newspaper. Focus in is the winter times. Um, There's actually a sticker um, on a tile. Just a two by two tile. Let's take the paper out. Here we can see some printing on Grandpa's top there. He's obviously got some sort of jumper on with a shirt underneath. A little bit of rear torso printing. He's got these brown legs. You can see the face detail with his grey moustache and grey hair. And this one does have some rear face printing as well. So on that one you can see there and again there. Okay, so that is Grandpa. Okay, next up we have the children. So our first child. You see there on his skis and his ski poles in his hands obviously we can see the shorter legs to represent the child see his torso print in there he's got some kind of jacket on or a body warmer um, some rear torso printing 
He's got this little grey helmet on, you can see there. See his face print in there. And his only single sided face. So that's our first our first child. Okay, second child again on skis. So again you see the same skis and the ski poles. Uh, torso print in there with a scarf obviously around her neck it's obviously a little girl again see some rear torso print in there the shorter legs blue legs you see the face printing and detail and obviously her hair this brown hair and again just the single sided face printing on the girl Okay, next child, uh, the final child rather, um, another little boy, you can see there, shorter legs, he's got this green jacket on, you can see the print in there with the zip down the middle, um, some rear torso printing, you can see his face, big smiley face, obviously enjoying himself out in the snow, <clears throat> got this brown hair, just look there, and this one, this little boy does have, uh, printing to the other side of his face you can see there he's sad on that side actually crying um, and on see that side happy so happy sad happy okay so that's our final child okay so our final minifigure is our snow plow driver we can see here so he's got some dungarees on you see green dungarees with the legs going up into the torso printing and you can see that continuing on the rear you see the rear of those dungarees on the rear of his torso the face printing it's his little stubble beard he's wearing this little grey sort of beanie type hat um, and we can see there there's no rear um, face printing so it's just a one-sided face again so that is our snowplow driver okay next up I'm just going to go through some of the separate um, uh, buildings and vehicles in this so we we'll start with the snowplow itself um, very cool looking little snowplow here you can see just take you around there spin around Okay, so we can actually see the plow function on here, so you can remove this very easily. Um, it does just uh, clip off there, you can remove these as well. Um, so you can have it actually without the plow um, attached to the front. And that just clips back in place. Um, we can see on the side here we have a broom on the other side here is a radio these can obviously be removed the wing mirrors obviously the front grill there obviously the wheels chunky tires on them you can see there the flatbed truck here where you can obviously load things onto there like the firewood for example um, the top does remove so that we can put our minifigure in so we can just see in there where our minifigure um, can sit in there, so obviously the snow plow driver uh, can fit in there. The doors, I believe, yeah, the doors do open on both sides. As you can see there, so you can see inside again. Um, and these mirrors, again, on the side can be adjusted um, slightly, and obviously, we have these mud guards at the rear. Um, but yeah, cool looking little snow plow. Uh, next up is our sledge. Which is obviously what the little boy is looking forward to playing with. Okay, you can see there, and there's this little um, bucket uh, that sits in there. Obviously you collect some snow in the bucket. But quite a basic build on that. Uh, got this little rope piece on the front to pull the sledge along. So that's it for the sledge. Uh, next up is the 
next up is this igloo. Spin round, just show you around that. You see there, that's the entrance. You can see inside the igloo there. Up here we have this chimney stack, which goes in, and I'll show you the inside in a second. On top of the igloo, we have this owl with some really cool printing. As you can see there. Okay, so the top of the igloo just simply booze off, like so. Um, and then if I show you inside, you can see there's kind of this little stove area down here. Looks like there's two hobs there, um, where you can obviously make a hot drink. Um, but that's it for the inside of it. Um, so there we go, so that's the igloo, and you can see there we have these tile pieces. Uh, obviously this um, plate here, so this just obviously simply slots into the middle, like so. Okay, that's our re-glue. Okay, next up we have the storage shed. <coughs> you can see there. So, first thing down here is the um, pieces of the firewood. Let me get that to focus. There we go. Um, so that's the firewood all been chopped up there, ready to take indoors, put on the fireplace. So inside this, pretty good. You can see in there, there are a number of tools and accessories. You see there's an oil can in there. Um, if we can see up in there, there's an electric drill. We have a hammer, a spanner or wrench. Um, and again there, and then we have the little workbench in here um, also. Um, but yeah, really cool little features um, in our little um, workshed area. Okay, we also have a separate tree. Um, obviously the standard tree here, so this is the larger one. Um, and actually in the set itself down here. Um, is a smaller tree, but I'll give you a closer look at that when we um, have a tour around the actual cottage itself in a second. Okay, onto the actual um, winter cottage itself. Um, as you can see there, the front view of the cottage, and I think this does look really good um, with the little different coloured um, bricks that they've used. Um, obviously, we can see a number of decorations, um, winter stroke Christmas decorations um, across the cottage itself, around across the top here um, we have a string of obviously Christmas lights um, across the top there um, down in the corner we have this great looking lamppost again with some uh, Christmas decorations on it and like I pointed out earlier we have a smaller um, tree here Christmas style tree see here our front door on the front of here again we have a Christmas um, reef on the front of that that is actually a sticker so there's a sticker on the door there so you can see all the shutters, um, windows, um, within the front of the cottage itself. I'll we'll start to spin this round. Okay, we can see our um, chimney stack there. Going all the way up to the top. Obviously with the chimney detail at the very top there. Um, down here, I'll show you this now while I'm here, but that actually operates our light brick. You can actually see the light brick lighting up there. And I'll press it and I'll show you that when we get to the interior. So just round to the other side. Okay, we can see the other side of the cottage there itself. So again, um, some downstairs window and an upstairs window again with some great um, Christmas decorations across the top of that window. Then obviously um, also at the top, but again you can see this great combination and use of these different um, colour bricks and indeed styler bricks down here then obviously the white um, plates obviously is going to be what represents snow down here and we have some raised pieces here um, obviously where some of the snow has um, drifted so onto the rear so the rear of the cottage itself is obviously open so that you can see inside um, the cottage and some of the features so if we go over to this side, hopefully you can see in here there's a Christmas tree. We have a an armchair, which I will get out. So this is where 
grandpa sits. There we go. So we can see his little armchair. Good use of bricks there to make that. Grandpa, put his armchair back in. Okay, up here, and I'll give you a closer look in a second. We have some lights, and lampshades up there. Um, hopefully, you can see in there. Here's the fireplace, and above the fireplace we have some um, Christmas stockings hanging. Um, obviously ready for Christmas to arrive. So the fireplace itself here, when I press the light brick, you will see this light up. So there we go. So there we can see the fireplace all lit up with that um, light brick function. Over to the other side here, downstairs kitchen area. And again, I'll give you a closer shot of that in a second. Um, and then upstairs here we have a bedroom, it's obviously uh, one of the child's bedrooms um, with the bed there, and there's a little cat on the railing, uh, some drawers, sailing boat, a little plane, um, football, a little ball there um, and um, these will represent some of the presents um, obviously waiting for, for Christmas. So I'm just going to give you a closer view of the inside now. Okay, so here we go now. Uh, better look on the inside. So we can now see inside the downstairs area there. So we'll give you some of the other little features in here. Obviously, up here we have this picture upon the wall, and that's another sticker. Get a better look at that Christmas tree and grandpa's armchair in the rear there. Obviously there we can see the stockings by the fireplace. See a far better look of that fireplace there. So again I will just show you that when it's lit up. Okay, you can see that there with that light brick. Obviously light in that fireplace. Okay, over into our kitchen area. Again good use of uh, a lot of the bricks in here. Hopefully we can see. Try get that lid up a little bit better in there. Okay, so we can see in here some workspace, some drawers. There's a little um, pan down at the bottom in there. And we have over here a kitchen sink, and these are taps right in the corner in there. Back here is the cooker and um, stove area. Over on this side, again, we can see some of those drawers um, at the top here. It's got what represents a clear um, cabinet and cupboard. Right over in the corner at the back there, you might just be able to see it. There's actually, um, it's what represents, I believe, it's going to be like a little bin or a dustbin. It's like a little open crate. Um, and then, obviously, what else we can see there is the actual front door um, again from from the inside so moving upstairs slightly easier to see because obviously the upstairs is more open so again we can see the child's bed there these two presents so these bits are all loose so here we have this little ball leave that to one side for a sec uh, here we have this little um, plane, aeroplane, which we can see there. Okay, um, here there's this little sailing boat. You can see the sail there, that's actually fixed. Um, little cabinet over in the corner, obviously, with a little light on top of it. Um, little cat, obviously, playing there. Okay, I think that's about it for the indoor um, features of this set. But oh yeah, and of course the um, the lights there. Better look of the lights hanging down. As you can see there. Again, some great little features in there. It does look awesome. I think the use of these tiles again for the kitchen area and for um, the living space again look do look good. Um, very very effective 
Okay, can we now see how it looks with some of the minifigures in place? We see Grandpa sat over in the corner in his armchair reading his paper. In the kitchen, we have obviously the mom. Looks like she's in front of the sink doing the washing up. Um, I'm assuming there, Grandma is chatting away to her daughter, um, drinking her uh, hot chocolate. So that's how it looks there with some of the many figures actually in place and there good view rear view of the winter village cottage okay that's my review of this set the <coughs> winter village cottage um, before we end just going to share with you these spare pieces that came with this and there are a lot um, of those first of all we have um, a brick separator um, that came with this set and we can see in here there are a lot of spare pieces um, obviously um, as always the smaller pieces so there's a lot of studs in here one by one plates one by one cheese slopes a couple of technic pins uh, we have this um, here um, that also came spare um, yeah, as we can see here, quite a few um, little spare pieces in there. So that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching this video. Um, please do go ahead and give this a thumbs up. Please provide any comments down in the comments section. Go ahead, share this video, and if you haven't done so already, um, I would appreciate if you could please subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.